Using a Mac as a playback device can be a great way to run your outdoor movie or presentation. However, sound can be a huge frustration and for someone who is used to using a PC may be confusing. I will show you how to control basic sound settings and quickly navigate the Mac OS. Hi, I'm Paul the Outdoor Movie Guy and I own and run an outdoor movie company. I have been in the outdoor movie business for more than 10 years and before that worked in information technology. If you have a question about sound, use of laptops, or outdoor movies, be sure to put them in the comments below. Most media playback devices only have one or two uh, outputs where sound can come from. However, with a Mac, something like my uh, MacBook Pro, there are multiple different places. So here's my MacBook Pro from a few years ago. Let's quickly uh, flip through some of the ports that we have on this device. The headphone jack, uh, that obviously carries audio. And on this one, we do have um, two of the mini display ports. Mini display ports, they use an adapter to go out to your, your screen. So you'll have a, a mini display to VGA, does not carry audio. A mini display to DVI does not carry audio, but a mini display to HDMI can carry audio. So that's another way audio can be carried on these. And on this Mac, I actually do have the HDMI port. With HDMI, you can carry audio with that. And um, if you have a slightly newer Mac, it is possible that you have one of the ones that only has the USB-C um, ports. Those ports with an adapter, this guy right here can carry HDMI, uh, which will have the sound. And then of course, the other way to get your sound oops, is through your two speakers right there. So let's go ahead and log in and we'll have a look at the sound settings on the Mac. You want to change volume on a Mac? You've got your keys right here, so you can increase your volume, you can decrease your volume, and then you have the mute. So at any time, if you think the, the laptop's muted and that, that is the issue, you can always just come in here and unmute it to see if that's gonna fix your, is fix your issue. The other thing we can do, and we'll flip to the other screen, is we're gonna go up to this top right-hand corner, uh, click on the quick menu, and then we can take the volume down, take the volume up, or all the way over to the left, is then going to mute your sound. So that's your actual volume. Um, if you need to adjust the volume on the Mac, super easy. So we've got two ways to pull up our sound settings. Let's have a quick look in this. Uh, if you go to the top right here, you do have your, your quick menu right here. You'll see we have sounds as a little carrot, hit the carrot, and then it gives you a quick option where you can just select another source or you can hit sound preferences, which is going to bring up this dialog box as your inputs, uh, outputs, and sound effects. We're gonna close that down real quick. Or we can go down to system preferences. We're gonna look for sound, which is right here, or you can type sound in right there. But I'm gonna go for my sound right here, and that's gonna bring up that same dialog box um, showing your, your various uh, options that you have. Two common ways to get sound out of your Mac uh, at an outdoor movie event. Um, one of them will be using the headphone jack, so you'll be plugging in uh, something like this, which will go to an RCA, which then the AV Pro will put in their mixer, their audio mixer. Uh, the other option will be HDMI, so you may be using a, a USB-C to HDMI, and then the HDMI will be going into a video switch that maybe extracts the audio. So these are going to be the two different ways. Uh, if you're trying to plug in your TV with your Mac, that is another option where you can get the audio going over the HDMI as long as we know how to set that and where that is set. So we're going to show you that next. So I've attached my Mac to an HDMI TV and right now I'm not getting sound through the TV. So we're going to have a quick look at how we're going to fix that. Let's go over to the device and the first thing we'll do we're going to go ahead and play that is currently playing through my laptop speakers so let's have a look what's going on i'm going to go over here and i'm going to go to my sound options i'm going to hit my little carrot and i'm going to see what's going on and right now you'll see we have internal speakers that's not what I want. I want to select my HDMI device. Um, for here, it is my field monitor. That could be your TV, projector, uh, HDMI switch, wherever you need that sound to go. So I've selected the field monitor. And now when I play my audio, now it's playing from the correct device. So very, very simple. We'll look at that one more time. If I want to bring it back to 
the internal speakers. I'll just select it there and hit play. And while that's playing, I'm going to go right here, hit my little carrot, select the other place I want the sound to go. And that's all there is to it. So right now we, we're going to connect the audio source to a audio mixer. So currently let's have a look where the Mac is sending sound. We're going to look here, we're going to go down to our sound and right now it's going to the field monitor. So that's HDMI is the source that the audio is going. And you'll see we don't have a headphone jack selected right here. We don't even have that an option. Uh, we only have internal speakers, uh, field monitor and a few other sources uh, which is not what we're looking for. So now we're actually going to go ahead and connect this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my RCA to my uh, audio mixer, which is just off camera. And that leaves me with my headphone jack. So we either need to make sure that the, the audio mixer is all the way down or your volume on the laptop is down or you're going to get that horrible pop. So I've just turned my audio mixer down and now I'm going to fade back to the laptop. Let's have one more look up here. Right now, you'll see I still have that field monitor and the other option is internal speakers. I'm going to plug in the headphone jack and you'll see that top option changed and it did automatically select headphones. Bear that in mind if, if you have it set up with a field monitor or an HDMI source and somebody goes and plugs headphones, it could change your default. So be ready with that. But we've got headphones and now I have the audio there. And that is playing through my mixer. So that is the, the super easy way to pull that sound from going to your monitor or to your local local computer to send it out uh, to an AV, uh, AV guy with the RCA connection. So if you are connecting to an AV switch, um, you always want the, the laptop volume to be fairly high in that 90 to 100% range. And then they'll use the mixer itself to control the volume of the sound. It makes troubleshooting easier because you know, hey, the laptop's um, sending out sound at this level. So then they know that they can control the sound completely from the mixer. So that's a, a great top tip there. Make sure the volume on the laptop is high enough so it can be controlled uh, through the mixer or if they've got an HDMI switch through the HDMI switch, they can control their volume from there as well. One final thing, some apps can actually hold their own audio settings. They do their own audio routing. So if you believe you've set it all up all correctly, and it's not quite working for you, it's probably the app that is controlling where the audio is going. So go into the app itself and look for a setting within the app. But uh, most, app, uh, most apps, just by going to the sound settings like we did, it's gonna fix that for you. I do have another uh, video which is on a PC setting. There's gonna be a link below. If you're on a PC, definitely check that one out if you're having sound issues when you're, you're doing events. Like, subscribe, give us love. If you have any comments, make sure you put them below. Have a great one. Cheers, thanks a lot, bye.